Hello and welcome to Clean Skies News. I'm Margaret Ryan. On July 8, 2008, oilman T. Boone Pickens launched his campaign to get America off foreign oil and more onto wind and to natural gas. Joining me now is the chairman of BP Capital, T. Boone Pickens. Uh, Boone, you've been advocating for moving to natural gas as a fuel for the big 18-wheelers for a couple of years now. And there's a new study from Resources for the Future that predicts this one single change, moving those, those big hot trucks to liquefied natural gas could actually save about two million barrels a day. Does that surprise you, or is that what you've been trying to tell us all along? No, that's exactly what I've said. There are eight million 18-wheelers in the United States. And if we move those over to uh, natural gas, away from foreign diesel, that uh, we'll pick up about two, two and a half million barrels a day, and that would come straight off of OPEC. And OPEC is five million barrels a day, so with, with eight million 18-wheelers on natural gas, that we can cut OPEC in half. Wow. Well, LNG is now used for trucks, as I understand it, mainly in the port of Los Angeles. Is that going to be available anytime soon, anyplace else? Well, the, that started uh, two years ago because it was an air quality issue and had nothing to do with OPEC oil. But uh, it's, uh, and that, uh, see, there's 17,000 18 wheelers in and out of uh, Port of Los Angeles, Long Beach. Both ports are right there next to each other. Uh, where else has it happened? They're trying to set up a corridor from San Diego to Phoenix to Las Vegas, and, uh, and that will be on LNG. So there's no question the technology's in place. It's ready to be used. The fuel is uh, one MCF of natural gas equals seven gallons of diesel. And one MCF of natural gas costs a dollar and fifty, excuse me, four dollars and fifty cents. And seven gallons of diesel is twenty-one dollars. So it's in, infinitely cheaper. But there's an incremental difference in the cost of the natural gas engine as compared to the diesel engine. And in the legislation that we've worked on, they do have sixty-five thousand dollars tax credit to go from uh, diesel over to natural gas and that's that incremental difference in cost. Well, that legislation, as I recall, was the better part of a year ago when legislation was introduced. It had Harry Reid's name on it, among other senators. Has it made any progress? It has. That's Senate Bill 1408, and uh, Reid, Menendez, and, uh, and Hatch were the sponsors of that Senate Bill 1408. That now has uh, has uh, moved to a, a what's identified as the as a climate bill, and but all of that is in the climate bill. But the climate bill has some things that have not been able to; they can't sell them, and that's primarily the carbon tax. So that now will be stripped down, and it'll go to I think now uh, Jeff Bingaman, New Mexico, and his bill, and to. Uh, uh, Maria, Maria Cantwell from Washington State. And so then it'll be reconstituted and probably some of the Kerry Lieberman stuff out of the climate bill will be in it and they'll try it again. So you're, but in you're the optimistic event, for, you are optimistic for this time around that you, this bill can, this section can make the cut of any kind of energy we, bill that comes out. We, we never are eliminated because we're the most attractive part of the bill. And it's the same thing over in the House. It, that bill over there is H.R. 1835, and that has 144 co-sponsors, which are split Democrats and Republicans. But uh, I got a call from uh, a congressman last week, and he said, if you can get them to go stand alone on the Senate Bill 1408 and 1835 in the House, he said the House will give you 350 votes said it'll pass on the first vote. Wow. So there's no question. All we have to do is get it on the floor and get a vote on it, and I think we'll have an energy bill. What reaction are you hearing when you talk to the folks who actually own and operate these big rigs? What's their reaction to the idea of changing fuels? Well, you know, the truckers, I, uh, uh, I'm a guy, you know, that came up from 
uh, you know, really from rather modest circumstances. I, I have a rough neck and I work for the railroad and I belong to the union and so I don't have any problem talking to the, the truckers. And I think that uh, Jerry Moyes, I've had more conversation with him than anybody else, which is Swift Trucking. And I think they, they would welcome an opportunity if given the incentives to do it. The fuel is cleaner, it's cheaper. See, they'll pick up on a rig that's running 20,000 gallons a year, they'll pick up over a dollar a gallon on the fuel. So they'll pick up twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year off of that, plus a $65,000 tax credit. Uh, it makes it very worthwhile for them. Okay. Well, in your latest calculations, and I know you're keeping track of this on a regular basis, how much is the U.S. now sending overseas every month uh, in order to pay for foreign oil? It's real easy. It's $1 billion a day. So you are buying $365 billion a year in, uh, in foreign oil. And the one that I'm focused on, of course, is the OPEC oil. That's 5 million barrels a day. We import 13 million. I'm not concerned about oil from North America, from Mexico and Canada, but the OPEC oil, I want to, re I want to get loose from that as soon as I can. But when you look at it, Margaret, that, that here you are with uh, spending a billion dollars a day for foreign oil, and that is two-thirds of your trade deficit. So if you started to reduce that trade deficit, my gosh, I mean, you're creating jobs, you're causing profits to be made in America instead of sending it off, uh, you know, away from us. And I'm, the OPEC oil that we buy is such a concern to me from a security standpoint. I'm convinced, and so is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, CIA Jim Woolsey, if you look in April 15th uh, this year, Wall Street Journal op-ed by Jim Woolsey, former head of CIA, that he and I both are in total agreement that you're paying uh, for both sides of the war when you're buying OPEC oil. And that, you know, that borders on our being stupid, especially if we have a resource that would replace that. And we have an abundance of natural gas could easily replace that. Well, now, you've been campaigning for two years now for action to reduce those oil imports. Um, how much, where have you seen progress, and do you think people in general really understand what's going on here? I really do, because, you know, I spent $62 million on those ads, and I made, I was in 38 states last year and flew an airplane 629 hours. So I spent a lot of time informing people. Yes, I think that people very well understand. We've done a lot of polling and they understand the danger of buying oil uh, from the Mideast. And if you look at what the president said, and you know that was in July two years ago, and I started July the 8th, which is today, two years ago on this project. So uh, when, the, when the president said at that time, he, that when he got the nomination, he said, uh, I expect in 10 years we will not import any oil from the Mideast. Well, two years has passed and he has not come up with a plan for it. And I have a plan for him. And this very simply is what it is. He starts out with all federal vehicles purchased in the future. And this is by executive order. All, all federal vehicles purchased uh, will be on domestic fuel. I don't care whether on natural gas, battery, a uh, hybrid or what, it just so we move away from the foreign oil, from the OPEC. Then in two or three months, he announces that in eight years that all Americans will have selected a domestic fuel for their transportation needs, for their cars, they'll decide, and what we want them to do is they'll go to a domestic fuel. They'll go to battery, hybrid, uh, natural gas, propane, ethanol, whatever it is just so it's American. And I think the American people would rally to that challenge. Okay, well, happy anniversary, Boone, and thanks so much Thank for you. speaking us to us today. Okay, uh, I think, though, in conclusion, yeah. that we're gonna get legislation this year that okay. is gonna, gonna solve the problem. Well, uh, we, will, we will hope uh, uh, that your prediction is correct. Thanks so much for joining us today. Sure, Margaret.